coffee break with me. Woo! Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a different video for you guys and I came up with this idea to do this video in particular because I do get several questions every time I post a tutorial or if for some reason my eyes look kind of strange in a picture on Instagram or whatever, you guys ask me about my mirror. And I thought, okay, well it's not a lipstick or a foundation that I'm talking about, but it is beauty related, so I, I could do a video on it. And I don't know if it, maybe you're not even watching this video. Maybe I'm just here sitting here talking to myself and I'm gonna get like two views. <laughs> <laughs> two views on this video but um so this video is about my simple human mirror and I have a problem like a legitimate problem where I hate darkness I do not like I don't like closed curtains I don't like closed blinds I don't like lights turned off and my husband is the total opposite. His office, he painted it like a dark navy. Because, and he took out, he, he painted it a dark navy, and then we have like the ceiling fans with the light fixtures and four light bulbs. He took out two of the four light bulbs because he likes to be in dim, dingy, dark light. And I need crisp, clear, I mean, I replaced all my kitchen light bulbs with LED lights because I need just that bright, I want, I want it to hurt when I look at the, <laughs> at the lights. So when I was looking for the perfect mirror to do my makeup, I I was like, everything is dingy. Everything is like yellowy. It doesn't, it doesn't help me. I want to do my makeup where the way that I do it here on my vanity is the way that it's going to look when I leave my house and I look in the car mirror or I look in my compact or I walk past a display mirror at a department store and I don't look, you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> totally different from what I imagined in my head or my mirror said I looked like. So when I was searching for the perfect mirror, I came across this one from Simple Human and I'm going to be honest, I was like... $200? Are you kidding me? This is insane. I literally purchased it like three months after it was released. So the mirror wasn't available anywhere except Amazon or simplehuman.com and it was $200 everywhere. Those two places, $200. There was no, it wasn't cheaper, there wasn't a deal, there wasn't a coupon and you guys know how I feel about promo codes and coupons. So I just bit the bullet and it has been the best investment and I'm I'm serious I mean it's been the best investment from anything that I've purchased to make my beauty life easier it's been the best investment ever so let me kind of walk you through why it's so cool and why it's awesome and maybe you'll change your mind and you'll be like yeah I need to stop buying these really cheaper ones that they don't help you know they don't they don't show you the truth <laughs> <laughs> the truth. Here it comes in a box like this. And it's a really, really big, let me, it's so big, I can't even get it in the shot. Um, it's a really big box. I keep everything. <laughs> everything that I buy, like my camera's box, my the the my lighting, the box, I keep all those boxes. You never know when you're gonna need them. So this is the box it comes in. The cool thing about this mirror is that it is cordless and it doesn't need batteries and it doesn't need light bulbs. So it is an LED mirror and it mimics daylight. It doesn't mimic fluorescent lighting, it doesn't mimic bright lights, it doesn't just do bright lights, warm lights, cool lights, it mimics daylight. So the way that you look in the mirror is exactly the same way you're going to look when you walk out the door. But here's the confession. Because it is a five times magnification, when you look at this, <laughs> when you look at yourself in this mirror the first couple of times, you may suffer from depression because it shows you everything. Wrinkles, spots, freckles, clock pores. I mean, if you missed a spot, it shows you everything. So at the beginning, it can be a little hard to get used to because you see everything. But once you get past that magnification, it's, um, it's, it's, it's awesome. My uh, my mom bought it as well. My mom uses glasses. She is, you know, of a more mature, wise age, and she really likes it. You know, it's it kind of becomes something that you sort of depend on because it 
it it just it steps up your game on how you do your face whether you're plucking your eyebrows or applying you know false lashes or anything that requires like the most intense focus or detail it does such a great job so let me show you guys the mirror what it looks like it's totally gonna blind you do you see the light it's a ring that goes around the mirror and that's what mimics daylight so when you look at yourself in the mirror this is the sensor it turns on it automatically turns on and turns off so you don't have to push the on and off button that's down here every time you're going to use it you charge it via USB so it comes with a little AC adapter like this and a cable and once it starts to shine red like this, it means you need to recharge it. Mine said that it, you know, oh, you, you, you charge it like every month or you could use it every day for an extended period of time. I don't remember what was the, the amount of time they said um, and the charge lasts. It doesn't. My charge doesn't last that long and I don't do my makeup every day. So I don't use the mirror every single day. The charge does not last that long. So um, that that is my only downside, I think, that and the fact that this, um, the little connector piece is kind of flimsy. So you never feel like, you know when you connect your iPhone, you hear like that click almost when you insert the charger? This one just kind of loosely fits in. So I may have just gotten like a crappy one, but that always kind of makes me feel a little insecure. Um, but that might also have to do with the fact that my charge doesn't last that long. It still lasts like two weeks or something, so I can't really complain, but um, it, it, uh, it doesn't last as long as they say it does. The other cool thing about it is that it moves up and down. So you see that? It goes up and down, and then it moves this way and this way. So you can adjust it to how you're sitting, how you're doing your makeup. I'm very tall um, and I like to sit very high up. So when I'm sitting here and doing my makeup, I have to like, I have to raise the neck as far up as it goes and then I can look in the mirror. And you can see how intense the light is. You see the ring in my eyes? Some of you have asked me like, what is that weird light in your eyes? So that's basically what it does. Um, when you look at yourself in the mirror, it shows you everything from the exact shade of your eye color from that one hair you missed on your eyebrows to if you overlined or underlined your lips if there's like a fallout another thing that is really cool about the mirror is that it's a little concaved so it gives you um almost like a surface area that's true to your skin it mimics the curves of your face you see every little nook cranny area spot wrinkle whatever is new to your face. Like I know how many wrinkles I have on my face right now. And every day I keep, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> every day I keep track. No, so it, it, it's just, it's one of those really good things for you because you don't walk out looking like a hot mess or a clown, but it's also a little daunting having to look at yourself, you know, all the time and aging gracefully, hopefully taking your vitamins and drinking a lot of water so that it's not a dramatic difference from the first time you purchased your mirror. Um, I think my biggest, one of my biggest uh, attractions towards this mirror is that it comes from Simple Human, which is a great brand. This totally sounds like I'm sponsored, but I'm not. But Simple Human, if you're watching, call me. <laughs> um, it has a really good warranty. So if something happens to it, no questions asked, they'll replace it. And when I initially bought mine, it wasn't available everywhere. So I had to pay the full $200 for it. Now they have two additional sizes. Um, a really small one that is a 10 times magnification and then an in-between one that's a little bit smaller than this one. I think it's a six and a half. I think it's a six and a half mirror. I, I don't remember the size. So I'll list them down below. Um, and then this one. But I mean, if it's for the purposes of, you know, applying your makeup, I think you should go with like the full facial size one. Um, they also have the type that you mount onto the walls now, so that's pretty cool. I mean, when I got mine, like I said, it was it was this one. You really had no choice. But the best part is that if you see this at uh, bad, bad, the, the, one of the bad, bad stores, bed, bed, bath, and beyond, <laughs> 
if you see this at Bed Bath & Beyond, you can use your 20% coupon towards your purchase. So you won't have to pay the full $200 for it. And I think Amazon may have it a little cheaper. I'm not sure. So regardless, I'll link it down below. But I really hope that answered your questions. So many of you ask me when you see this mirror in pictures or in a reflection or something, which mirror it is. And I, I could easily answer it in the comments, but I'm pretty sure if you you notice or you notice or you noticed, a lot more people are curious about it. So if you're, if you're really into beauty and applying your makeup and it's something that you truly enjoy, this is definitely a really great investment, totally worth saving up for. And it, it's really, it'll really improve your makeup application. This almost reminds me of one of those beauty products that once you try it out, you're like, where have you been all my life? How have I made it this far? Or what in God's name did I look like before I had blank, you know? <laughs> so um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll list or link this product in the description box below in case you guys want more information. Uh, I know it's I know it's not a beauty review, but it kind of is, so I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, if you guys found this video useful, entertaining, or thing, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye, guys.